Hello friends, this video statistics part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched statistics part 1 to part 14. Continuous frequency distribution about median. Please note about median. Here finding mean is a big challenge. You know earlier also we had this uh, normal distribution there also finding mean was difficult there we arranged all the distribution in the ascending order then we found the number of terms and based on number of terms we found that in which box the values will be there the xi value of xi and we got the median here also finding median is a difficult task here so let's write the steps to find the median the first step is here also we have to arrange the data in the ascending order once the data is arranged in the ascending order we have to find the cumulative frequency. Once the cumulative frequency is derived, we have to find the class in which the mean is identified. Correctly. We have to find the class where the mean is there. Once we have the class, we have to apply the formula. And the formula is this. The formula is this where n is nothing but sum of frequency. All these values in small letter L, F and H they belong to the class in which median lies. L is the lower limit, F is the frequency and H is the length of the class. Correct? Or the width of the class. All the value is small is the property of the class in which median lies. And C is nothing but cumulative frequency of the class just preceding the median class. I'll take my example to clear this. Plus, First, just try to understand what we'll do. First, we'll arrange data in ascending order. Once data is arranged in ascending order, the next thing we'll do is we'll find the cumulative frequency. Once we have cumulative frequency, then we have to find the class in which the median lies. That we can do because we have the n, the value of n. So if the based on the value of n we can find, we'll take the n by 2 value, we'll find the class in which the median lies. Once we know the class in which the median lies, then we know L, F and H because these are properties of the class in which the median lies, lower limit, frequency and the width of the class. Also once we know the class in which the median lies, we also know the value of C because C is nothing but cumulative frequency of the class just above the class of the median and we already know and then we can find the value of the median. I'll take one example. Before that, once we have this value of median, what we can do, we can just use the formula to find the mean division about median. The same formula, sigma fi xi minus m by sigma fi or you can use m. Both the same. So let's take example. So here we have this class 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. And the frequency 6, 7, 15, 16, 14. Here we have to find mean deviation about median median. So first thing is we have to find median. To find median, let's do one thing. Let's write this in this form. This is the class 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and 40 to 50. Let's write this and 50 to 60 also. Once this is written, let's write the frequency also which we have 6, 7, 15, 16, 4 and this is the frequency we have. Next thing we were told to find cumulative frequency. This becomes 6, 6 plus 7 is 13, 13 plus 15 is 28, 28 plus 16 is 44, 40 plus 4 plus 4 is 48 and 48 plus this is 2 that is 50. So we have the cumulative frequency also. Now the n is for 50, we know n is 50. Since n is 50, we have to find the value of n by 2. n by 2 is nothing but 25. So, with this value we can find in which, which is the class where median lies. Please note, when we have to find median or when we have to find mean actually, in that case if n is equal to 50, that is even number, we used to find n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1, right? And then we have to find, we used to find the value of this term that is x n by 2 and x n by 2 plus 1 and then we should take mean but in this case for median irrespective of whether n is even or we don't care we just find n by 2 
and then we want to find that this value is in which class. So n by 2 is 25 here. So we can see that 25 will lie in this class because 30 to 25 is in this class. So this is the class. This is my class. I'll put in square. Sorry, rectangle. This is my class where median lies 20 to 30. So we have got the class. Since we have got the class, the lower limit L will be 20. This we know. Correct. Frequency of this class is 15. So F will be 15. We know this. The length or the width of the class is 20 minus 30 minus 20, that is 10. So H will be 10. Correct. Also, value of C is the cumulative frequency of the class F of this. So this is C. So C is equal to 30. Also, we know that N is equal to 50. So we have all the values. We have L, F, H. These values are for the the class in which median lies. We have the value of C that is preceding class. We have to find comet uh, cumulative frequency and then we have N. Putting these values, we can say that median is nothing but L plus N by 2 minus C correct by F into H. We'll put the value. L is 20 plus N by 2 is nothing but 25 minus c is 30 by f is nothing but 50 and h is 10 correct so we have this value this comes out to be uh, 25 minus 13 is 12 so I'll write 20. this is 12 by 15 into 10 so 5 into 3 15 5 into 2 10 3 into 4 so this becomes 20 plus 8 is 28 so we have got the median. Our half battle is gone. So this guy is 28. I'll write it here. 28. Once we have the median, now we can use the same formula to find xi minus m, then fi xi m to get the values. Now to find this uh, mean deviation, the formula we know is nothing but I'll write the formula sigma fi into x i minus m right by sigma f or n we can say n also same thing because we know value of n so we have to find this first sigma f i into x i minus m we know m x i first we have to find x i is nothing but the midpoint of this balance so let's write once again the class is 0 comma 10 for this x i will be a light x i here i'll create one more table this will be 0 plus 10 by 5, 10, 0 plus 10 by 2, 5. In this case, it will be 10 plus 20 by 2, 15. In this case, 20 plus 30 by 2, 25. In this case, 30 plus 40 by 2, 35. In this case, 40 plus 50 by 2, 45. In this case, 50 plus 60 by 2, 55. This is xi. Correct? Now, next step is we have to find x. Let's write fi also for this, the limit fi. That is 6, 7, 15, 16, 4, and 2. Now the next step is we have to find mod of xi minus m. That is xi minus m is nothing but 28. You have to find this value. 5 minus 28 mod, what will get? We'll get 23. Because 5 minus 28 is 23, 23 mod is uh, minus 23, minus 23 mod is 23. 15 minus 28 mod is 15 minus 28 is nothing but minus 13, minus 13 mod is 13. 25 minus 28 mod is minus 3 mod, that is 3. 35 minus 28 it mod is 35 minus 28 is 7. 45 minus 28 mod is 70. Similarly, 55 minus 28 mod is 55 minus 28, that is 27. Now we have to find fi into xi minus 28 mod. Correct? Because this is what our formula expects us. So we have to multiply these two star values. 6 into 23 is 138. 7 into 13 is 91. Similarly, 15 into 3 is 45. 
correct? 16 into 7 is equal to 112. 4 into 17 is 68. And 27 into 2 is 54. This value is we know. Now we'll have to add this value. You have to add all the sigma fxi. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 2, 14. 19, 20, 28. 8, 2. To carry. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 9, 14. 14 plus 4, 18. 19, 6. 25 plus 5, 30. 0, 3 carry. 3 plus 4 plus 1, 5. 5, 0, 8. And that's what we need. So we will use the formula here. The formula, we use the formula here. What we get is sigma fi xi minus m mod by n. This is nothing but mean deviation about median. This value is nothing but 508 by n. And n we know is 50. It's 50. 508 by 50 we will get something. 10.16 this is our answer so mean deviation about median is 10.16 for this case what we have done this is the value what we have done we have first found the median to find the median what we have done we have found the cumulative frequency we got n is equal to 50 n by 2 was 25 so 25 came in this class so we found the class in which median lies once we got the class in which we lies, we got the value of L, F, H, C because L is the lower limit of the class, F is the frequency of the class and H is nothing but the width of the class. C is the cumulative frequency of the class just preceding the median class, that is 30. Once we have these values, we apply this formula, median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus C by F into H to get the value of median to be 28. We got the median as 28. Once we got the median 28, then we use the standard approach we have, we got the xi's by taking the mean of this class, we already had fi's, we got xi minus 28, we got fi into xi minus 28, we added this, we got 508, we applied the formula, mean deviation about median is sigma fi into xi minus m by n and we got the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.